He likes to say there's only one president at a time. But in the hallways and corner offices of Capitol Hill today, President-elect Obama left no doubt he's already taking charge. We've got to act quickly. We've got to act boldly. Amid reports that the date for passing his economic stimulus package is already slipping well into February, he had a stern message for Congress. I expect to sign a bill to create three million jobs for the American people shortly after I get inaugurated. In a development that pleased many Republicans, Mr. Obama wants more tax cuts than had been expected. Of the total stimulus, now at about $775 billion, he wants 40% of that, about $300 billion, to go to tax cuts, about half of that for business. For example, allowing companies to write off losses incurred during this recession and giving businesses a tax credit for hiring new workers. As for individuals, all but the wealthiest would get an immediate tax cut of $500. For families, $1,000. It's what Mr. Obama calls a balanced stimulus package. Part of it is going to be addressing uh, consumers and making sure they've got money in their pockets. Part of it is to provide incentives for businesses so that they start inventing and investing in plants and equipment that ultimately lead to jobs. The focus on business tax cuts is sure to make some liberal Democrats unhappy, but political analyst Stuart Rothenberg says it's the kind of new politics Obama has long advocated. Well, I think a package like this, uh, as it turns out, is one that reaches out both to Democrats and Republicans. And with Mr. Obama hoping to pass the stimulus package with a large bipartisan majority, his team was encouraged by early reactions from Republicans to the idea of tax cuts. Clearly, uh, it's an area that, uh, that brings uh, uh, excitement to Republicans uh, because it does put money in the economy right away. Republican sources on Capitol Hill say Mr. Obama went out of his way today to make clear he will continue to listen to Republicans. In one private meeting, he said, quote, a monopoly on good ideas does not belong to a single party. Katie? Chip Reed, Chip, thanks very much.